Hey, this is Jennifer's watch again. I'm, I'm working on the, now I'm just going to remove the keyless works. The keyless works is what uh, controls the winding of the watch. And on this particular watch, This is setting lever, setting lever spring, intermediate wheels, yoke and yoke spring. So first I'm going to remove, I'm going to try to do this in a way that I don't take the light away from the... Remove the, the yoke setting lever spring. And this usually has, of course, a, a spring to it. It's, it's, it typically pops a little bit sometimes when it comes off. I think I've actually, there we go. That's the setting lever spring. There is an intermediate wheel that I'll remove now. And hmm. right, the yoke spring is actually on the other side of this watch, and it is very, very small. I don't even know. If the camera can pick it up, not sure how to get it out of there without it popping out. So I'm going to have to use, one of my oilers to hold it in place. There, the spring released. Looks like a little hook, shepherd's hook. I'd like to be able to indicate how this goes in. So, I'm going to tweezers got magnetic on me and I'll take the setting lever or the yoke off but damn tweezers are magnetized so the setting lever or the yoke rather is like oriented with the like this, I don't know if it can be seen here in this direction. The little like a nub pointing towards the um, 
the intermediate wheels, the wheel, the hour wheel and the intermediate wheel. Actually, there's an intermediate wheel in there with the nub points towards that. There is a little tiny wheel in here. Very small wheel. That would be the intermediate where the other wheel, I think, was the hour wheel. At this point, the um, you can see the motion of the setting lever, sliding clutch, the winding pinion. I'm no longer on camera. Mm. Orientation of the yoke. Orientation of the yoke spring. Let's go around this little nub here. I have to release the setting lever. And when I do this, the So there's the Here is the uh, crown and crown stem. Winding pinion. And the sliding clutch. I am going to leave the setting lever screw in because Getting that back in, I find to be one of the more difficult tasks, and uh, I just am not going to deal with that. And at this point, if you can see the main plate, you can can see that it is completely apart. There's no other parts to remove except the setting lever, which I'm not going to remove. And that completes the disassembly of Jen's watch.